Hey, what's going, y'all? It's yours truly, the other Ray J, once again. So, nice guys have been banned. Well, nice guys have been banned. It's gotten to that point now. It's not that nice guys finish last anymore. It's now that nice guys have been banned. Of course, in videos that I've done before, I've talked about how this is not the case, actually, and that nice guys actually finish first, and they have been finishing first all this time, but at the same time, there's been this more popular narrative of how nice guys finish last. It's just now to the point where nice guys have been banned. I want you to see, hopefully, by the end of this video, what I mean by that. Let's talk about it. So, uh... <clears throat> now, for those who are familiar familiar with motorsport, Audi has a great influence on motorsport, and uh, they had these uh, these these cars. They were rally. They were uh, I think it was like Group B, uh, Group B rally spec cars. Uh, basically, the top tier of rally racing. Uh, Audi had some of the best cars in the business and uh, they also had another type of car and it was like for another racing series besides Rally that was called DTM and uh, their DTM cars I believe I don't know it was basically for the touring car championships I think this was before it was called DTM someone can correct me on that um, but basically the rally spec car was based on the, the uh, they had like this uh, three door hatchback it was like basically the Audi Quattro it was, it was called the S1 to some people had a turbocharged 5 cylinder oh I love that engine now they used that same engine in their touring car it was like a sedan for the touring car racing championships that they did also same engine but see, what set both of these cars apart from their competition, if you will, was their use of cuatro, which cuatro means was a four in, uh, in Spanish, cuatro, obviously, and it was for their four-wheel drive system. Up to that point of when Audi showed up with the cuatro technology for rally and touring car, no one else had four-wheel uh, all, uh, all -wheel drive. That's what it was. It wasn't even four-wheel drive, I believe. It was all-wheel drive. And Audi, Audi pioneered this, and it got they got so good to where both cars got banned. Both of these cars. Now there's a lot of cars like Audi, in different brands, different companies, that have made cars so technologically advanced that the car actually got banned from competition. Now this ties in what I mean by these nice guys. Nice guys have been banned from competition. Now, of course, I define nice guy as a righteous man, but this world tries to put you in the box as their nice guy. So, you see, a righteous man is too technologically advanced for the dating market. <laughs> He's too ahead of his time. He knows too much. He's aware too much. He understands the game because, actually, he doesn't even live by the game overall. He's all about morality, principles, codes, following the word, scripture. He's all about living righteously. He's all about being moral. Um, this world is nothing like that. And that's why they try to make nice guys finish last. You're too advanced for them. They need to keep you behind. And ain't that what they do with these cars that are technologically advanced in motorsports? They make them finish last. They try to put a weight penalty on these cars or let them have their power be taken down some just so there's an even level playing field so that makes you wonder with the nice guys what is it to them well they feel like the, the, uh, these, these, these chicks in the world everybody wants to take advantage of you right because they feel like you already have an unfair advantage of them and uh, there's, a, there's a video actually on YouTube that talks about you know how advanced Audi was with their technology 
and it's called unfair advantage, I believe, because I mean these these cars got banned. All the, not just Audis, like Ferraris, uh, a lot of cars out there, they get banned from competition because uh, the 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 motorsport regulators felt that these cars had an unfair advantage, and that's basically in the human space, if you will, what happens to so-called, uh, uh, what happens to righteous men that get treated like nice guys. You get banned too because you have this unfair advantage over the relationship per se, over the game, if you will. You have this unfair advantage. You are too technologically advanced. You are too superior. Your vibrations, your frequencies are too high for such chicks. But, you know, I'd say stay on that frequency. Stay advanced. That statement, she's out of your league. Nah, man. You, you, you need to do a reversal of that statement. She's out of your league. It's because she's out of your league. Keep that in mind. It's not that she's in a league where you can't catch her. No, bro. Get that. Man, I'm trying to hit y'all on something, man. For real, for real. It's not that she is out of your league. It's that she's out of your league, okay? She's not on your level. I don't care what she looks like. She's hypergamous like the rest of them, okay? Don't let her 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 number 10 score. You know, she a number 10, a dime piece. Don't let all that get to you. She probably dumb as a bot. She's probably dumb as a bag of rocks. She's only in it for one reason, okay? She has the mind of a succubus. You know, the succubus has the mind of a predator. The very single-minded, okay? And ain't that true about ain't that true about most predators? They have a very small brain, most predators do. They're very good at what they do though. They're very good at catching prey. They're very efficient at it. So yeah, these chicks that are out of your league, so what? Let them stay out of your league, man. She ain't she ain't, she ain't smart like that. She only got beauty. And she's only good at one thing. Don't even let um, don't even let that get to you like that, for real. But that's that's just a side note, really, just to be adding to this whole thing about nice guys. Uh, man, you're an unfair advantage, bro. That's all it is. You're too advanced for them, man. So they had to put you out the game. You know, you were such an unfair advantage. They had to take advantage of you. You thought it different. You thought it was making you less. You were actually more. You were more superior. But they had to treat you like you were inferior. Just as they had to do with them Audis and them Ferraris. That were way ahead of them times. You know, them Ferraris at one time, they were too advanced for Formula One. You know? Uh, Audi also did good 24-hour Le Mans with their diesel prototypes. At the time, no one had a diesel prototype racing car. But Audi proved that you can win with a diesel prototype. It was like a common sense thing for them. And guess what? They whooped everybody. They whooped everybody. Of course, some people caught on because it's like if you can't beat them, join them. And that's another thing, okay? Keep that in mind. Nice guys always finish, finish first. They don't finish last. You got to be in your own league, man. They put you out their league. You be in your own league. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let, let, let these chicks know, man, if you, you can't beat me, you can join me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about her being down with your program. It's not about you trying to get that game on to get her. She's supposed to be trying to get you. Baby, you can't beat me. You might as well join me. You know? So, once you start to reverse things like this, reverse the curse, because that's what this is really all about, man. It's about reversing the curse. And now that I'm up on this rhyming stuff, well, now that I'm up here rhyming and stuff, I'm going to really talk about what it means to be lost in the sauce. I want to talk about that soon. But, uh, yeah, just know, man, nice guys have, as of now have been officially banned. But but work on your own league, man. Work on your own league. Because just like with all different types of racing, spirit, uh, racing series and motorsports, with the FIA, all that, you know, that's all going to come crashing down on them once they don't have them sponsors and the and promoters and the fans. Like with Formula One, they took out the V10, man. When they took out the V10 engine, to me, that killed Formula One. And Formula One ain't been the same ever since. Yeah, you got these hybrids and all that crap, but people miss the sound of Formula One, man. People miss the sound. And so 
That's like, bro, when you when these when they try to put you in this box of how nice guys finish last, you being that righteous man, guess what? Over time, she gonna miss out on your sound on your presence, your essence.